Welcome to my second video. Today I would like to explain the decanter uh, by using uh, Stokes law. Okay. Uh, by applying Stokes law model, we will get the freedom to explain or we have the freedom to make case studies based on decanter diameter, length or speed or differential RPM or with the pool depth. So we can easily study what is the difference once we change the decanter diameter or other parameter that we are additionally defining what is the product quality is going to be changed. So it has got a nice advantage once we having a big design or we have a very specific cut of particle size it will be very useful at that time. The last part we will discuss about processing of the downstream product from the decanter by using a fluidized bed dryer. We will use air, hot air as a medium of heating and we will explain after this uh, last session. Okay. okay, let's get started. We will work this with the same decanter that we used before. Double click, we can see the decanter classification over here. And this is the area we are going to change. We will change the ideal into the stocks. Okay, then we can see one tab is appearing as a configuration. Here we need to define the remaining uh, parameters. So th those things are given already. Good. So the drum diameter is 1 meter and cylindrical length is 3 meter. And the pitch I will just assume 0.1 meter which is just as an assumption and the speed we already have 1500 rpm and differential speed of uh, 50 rpm pool depth is 0.3 meters see now it is everything defined press next program is running yes the result is available okay the next we will see how can we uh, simulate one fluidized bed dryer uh, the product from the decanter that can be treated through a dryer to get dry powder. So the data is given hot air with a flow of 800 kg per hour with an inlet temperature of 600 degrees Celsius with one bar. And the design of the fluid bed dryer is just assumed as uh, rectangular and the mass hold up inside the dryer will be 3500 3, kg. Height 5 meter and width 3 meter and depth 1 meter. The number of orifices is defined 2000 and the orifice diameter is taken as 0.2 meter. Okay, now let us start with the dryer. We need to add one more component which is air. So let us start adding air. Okay, and we can run the property analysis. Okay, good. So let's go back to the simulation part. We need to select now the dryer, which is here under solids, fluidized bed dryer. Select one uh, dryer and place in the main flow sheet. We need to attach the solid as an inlet of input of the uh, dryer. So we need to check the solid which where it is coming. Okay, this is the first one. Just connect as a solid and output from the dry dryer. Okay. define the air inlet and outlet as well now we can start defining the air stream before that let us rename the streams hot air and this is a air out and we have one more stream which is dried powder dried solid okay now we can start defining hot air Okay, the conditions being given already. So hot air having a condition which is 800 kg flow and temperature at 650, pressure at one bar. Okay, start adding the value 650. The temperature is. And before that, we can add the air flow rate. Make sure it is in mass flow rate. Temperature is given 650 degrees Celsius at a pressure of one bar. So first stream is defined now just click next 
we can define the dryer in the dryer first we need to uh, add the bed mask okay now the bed mass uh, we have the data given which is 3500 kg give the value here in 3500 kg okay and the design we can keep it the same and here we will change the fluidization velocity calculation as wing u calculation the remaining we will keep it as same now we need to add the geometry height of the dryer is given 5 meter and the width is 3 depth is 1 meter so we will add 5 meter height and the solid discharge is assumed at the maximum height of the uh, the dryer rectangular design width is 3 meter and the depth is 1 meter finally okay we have one more uh, part to be defined which is the distributor perforated plate number of orifices is given 2000 numbers with 0 0.02 meters so here it will be 2000 the orifice diameter will be 0 0.02 now everything defined well we can run the program we just click run and ok wait for the calculation to complete Not taking a little much time ok good now the results are available just uh, let us see the streams go and select the stream temperature is see the output temperature of the air it is reduced to 64 from 650 and click the stream result we can see the the streams mass flow rate the initial air flow was 800 the air out is 1184 which is adding up the water okay the only thing is the some around 199 kg solids which is transferring through the air that we can later transfer or we can separate by adding another unit operation either cyclone or a filter yeah here already we completed uh, the dryer fluidized bed dryer next video i'm preparing to make a simulation for a conveying system which can transfer the dry solid from dryer to desired silos thank you